Good morning you guys. Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. I'm going to put my usual disclaimer out there. I cannot guarantee that I'm going to be able to vlog and post every single day. I'll try and vlog every day but it doesn't mean that there'll be a new vlog every day but I'm going to try my best. I have been doing the most trying to get ready for Vlogmas. I've literally like deep cleaned the house done a massive clear out. I have literal war wounds. I've got bruises and scratches all over my hands and arms. And, and I sent off my tax information early. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. <laughs> anyway, I'm sipping on the most delicious tea. I got sent this in a PR package, but there's no brand on the tea. It's the Hugo Boss PR package. Hugo Boss, if you guys are watching, please tell me what brand this tea is. I feel like it might be Tea Pigs. It's freaking delicious. Anyway, it is eight o'clock in the morning. I woke up and my phone was completely dead. Honestly, I can't tell you how much stuff I've cleared out. I've got bags full of clothes in the living room that I need to get collected. I did arrange a collection, but they came really early on like a Sunday morning and didn't even give me time to get to the door before leaving. But I don't have a car, so otherwise I would just take it. I've given my dad loads of stuff for Jamaica, but a lot of this stuff is just stuff that's not appropriate for that. <laughs> I've still got some stuff to clear out. I still need to like hoover and mop properly the living room. I got a new mop machine. I am actually 30. I've got a new mop machine, guys. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Like that's, that's the kind of shit that gives me kicks in life now. Anyway, yeah, nothing too exciting for the first day of Vlogmas, but I'm just so excited to be doing it. I'm so excited to like share my december with you guys and chat with you guys every day i feel freaking lonely i miss you guys i miss chatting with you guys i miss interacting god i really need to get botox put in my jaw i'm in so much pain i clench my jaw at night i don't know if you guys can tell but obviously i got my filler dissolved my jaw is so bad i clench it so much that the muscles actually get bigger so it actually does change my face shape so the botox combats both things i don't really care that my jaw's a bit bigger i don't think it looks bad but the pain i am in you guys and it just, it feels like it's going to cramp. And I can't imagine having like cramp in my face. Um, so I need to get that sorted at some point because it's getting painful now. I was trying to like not do it anymore. I was like, maybe I don't need to do it. But then it gets to a point where like, it's pretty bad. I don't know. I think it might be linked to my anxiety as well. I really like try not to do it, but I can't control what my daughter does in my sleep. So, <sighs> anyway. I hope you guys are excited for the holidays. I have like quite a few different things I want to do for these Vlogmas videos. I don't know if they'll necessarily be vlogs every day. I've had a lot of requests for my eyebrow routine, my current makeup routine, um, hair stuff. So I might include that in these vlogs. And hopefully my laptop won't let me down because I feel like it's this close to dying. So it takes a long time to edit footage, but I can't really get a new one right now. So hopefully my laptop will have my back for the whole of December. But yeah, I don't even know where I'm going to be spending Christmas this year. I don't know if I'm going to be in London or Manchester. I don't know. Probably a bit of both. Obviously, I want to see my mum and stuff. I just have no idea what's going on with my life, basically. I feel an absolute loss of control over my own life. And it's scary, but we move. <laughs> I'm going to just enjoy my breakfast. I'm letting my phone charge for a bit. I'm going to watch some YouTube or something. And then I'm probably going to head to the gym because I'm really trying to get back on my fitness game purely because it really helps my mental health and it makes me feel good and I love feeling powerful and strong and that's why I love to lift weights and I've also fallen in love with um, climbing. The only thing is where I live, there's one I can walk to but I hate it because <laughs> it's really small and then the other one that's kind of close by, you, you can get a cab which is obviously more expensive but if you get public transport for some reason, you have to go like out of the way and it's just so much longer to get there. There's really cool ones on the other side of London, but I don't live there anymore. So yeah, I don't know if you guys will be seeing me climb whilst I'm here, unless my boo's here, because he's absolutely obsessed. So, um, and obviously if we get an Uber there, we can split it and it's like not so bad. But you'll definitely be seeing me climb when I'm in Manchester. I literally have been talking for how long? Six, seven minutes, wow. Not gonna lie, my boyfriend has actually got me obsessed with one person's climbing vid videos. His name is Magnus Midbull. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's a sick climber. At first I'd be like, oh, why are we watching this? But like, I've now subscribed and watch it whenever he's got a new video because I don't know, it's like hypnotizing. I just love watching people climb, especially when they're sick. It's really inspiring. Climbing is friggin hard you guys like it's a difficult sport you wouldn't think so but damn and it's taxing on your body as well oh tammy mai has a new video out so i'm gonna watch that if you guys don't follow tammy mai check out her channel she's 
amazing and I've just come across a girl called Jasmine Lay I think it's how you pronounce it her videos are insane too but I'll link them both down below anyway I'm gonna go because I've literally been talking since forever and I just want to eat my breakfast have some tea pre-workout get to the gym <laughs> Morning. It is no secret that I love Chrissy Chella. I've used her tone and sculpt app to train. Get questions about that all the time, so I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. Best app I've ever used and the one I've stuck to the most. And yeah, I was looking for a new pre-workout and she mentioned in one of her vlogs that she uses Woman's Best. I feel like I can really trust her, so I was like, cool, I'm gonna give it a go. Best pre-workout I think I've ever used. Oh, the kitchen is so clean and tidy, I'm obsessed so many empty cupboards now so yeah i've been trying it out and so far i'm really really enjoying it i've got the pre-workout in the sour peach flavor it's probably gonna be disgusting right now because i've just brushed my teeth but that's fine i'm so sensitive to caffeine at the moment as well but i need this for leg day i'm gonna take one scoop put it in my little cup and i i used to dry scoop it but i'm not really into that anymore so i just put a tiny bit of water in and like shot it i don't want to drink loads and loads and loads of um liquid before i go train BCAAs and creatine but yeah if you guys are looking for a pre-workout I would definitely recommend this um, I only just started using it but I'm really into it so far it's one of like probably the best I've ever used and I feel like it doesn't hit me in a crazy way where I'm like oh, oh. <laughs> well I feel like it's a nice steady um, release of energy and focus definitely helps me focus on my workouts and just push that a little bit harder but yeah that's that I'm gonna fill the shot with water Slowing down the spread of, uh, of Omicron while we get to the bottom of uh, its uh, spread compared to Delta. Uh, but Bumped into the loveliest subscriber on my way home. Hey Jessica, if you're watching, thank you so much for coming and saying hi. It was so nice to meet you. I hope you had the best day. Chilling with your dad's new puppies. I'm jealous, I expect an invite next time. <laughs> yeah, I, it was so nice to meet you. Did a little stretch sesh. As you guys saw, I had a bit of a cry, which I think is so healthy. Like. I was just look, like stretching and I looked up and saw that picture that my mum got made for me of me and PJ and yeah, had a little cry. I'm still not over it. <laughs> um, don't know if I ever will be but I think it's really healthy to like have that release and I think like stretching was just like 
releasing all the tension and stuff in my body and like all the pent up emotions. Just know that if you guys are like grieving or going for anything, it's totally normal to like not be over it yet. I don't think you ever are over it. I think you just kind of learn to live with it. But yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take my returns back and get an Uber to the place because I've got quite a few packages. I can't walk there. It's like a 15, 20 minute walk. And then I'm gonna have a nice little stroll back it's kind of cloudy kind of not so hopefully the weather holds out and i can have a nice little sunny walk back but yeah my management are actually doing a christmas party tonight but i just don't know if i can go i don't know my anxiety is kind of crazy also like i'm just old and tired <laughs> all the time oh i want to show you the jacket i'm gonna wear it's so sick i don't know if like how many of you guys know but i was part of the youtube black classes last year over the last year I learned so much. We got a jacket, it's so sick. It's like a varsity jacket. It says lift black voices, hashtag YouTube black. It's got a YouTube play button on the sleeve. And then here it says class of 21. It's so sick. Like it's such a nice jacket as well. Um, so I'm gonna wear that. YouTube black voices. It's so sick, isn't it? But yeah, they sent this the other day and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Warmth and comfort is key when it's this cold. Right, I'm gonna go because otherwise I'm not gonna go, so yeah. All right, lads. Um, I've just had a bit of a stressful situation on my walk back from doing my returns. I mean, it wasn't super stressful. It was just stressful for me. <laughs> Set my anxiety off a little bit. So <laughs> I thought I would. I've got some advent calendars that have come through. So I'm gonna open the first day of those just to take my mind off of things. And I've got some new bed sheets that I ordered. So I thought I'd open those with you guys as well. There's nothing better than new bed sheets, isn't it? So. I might throw those on and just have like a proper cozy night tonight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make my work's Christmas party. Like, I just feel like I'm gonna be really overwhelmed. Today's just been a lot. So I think I'm just gonna like chill at home and have like a cozy evening to myself. Might even go and get some wine. I don't know. We shall see, but I'm gonna open. Oh, I hate this, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm in, like oh, I'm bringing bad vibes to the vlog. I don't mean to, but I'm just trying to be a bit more open and transparent with you guys i don't even know if i want to talk about it just because i don't want to give it the attention um so i hope you guys understand but yeah i'm just gonna open up some partials and hopefully uh there'll be some cute exciting stuff in there i've got to change the battery actually it's gonna die so I'll be back i must be tripping because i feel like i had more than two but I'm sure I'll probably just like find them later on in the month. I've got a Kiehl's advent calendar here, which we know I love Kiehl's. And ASOS also sent me one, which is so exciting. I've never, I didn't even know they did advent calendars. So that's pretty cool. And I think it's like beauty bits. How nice is that packaging as well? ASOS face and body. Oh, it's so cute. Like it's really pretty, 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 pretty. That is so cute. Got a little mini of the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment in here. This is a really nice, like, thick under eye cream. Very nice. And then for the ASOS parcel. Ooh, we've got the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water. I love that packaging. That green is absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited to try this. Origins are, like, a really well-known brand. I've tried some of their other bits before and I did like it. Excuse me. You left it. Oh my god, I just realised I forgot to show you guys. The sheets, I found them on Matalan. I was looking for like those crinkly kind of sheets. There's a brand that I really love, but it's like £300 for some bed sheets, which at the moment I'm just not down with. So maybe one day when I'm like rich and famous. Oh my god, okay. I feel like I love it already. It's got that kind of crinkly vibe to it which just looks super cozy to me. I was worried they'd be too warm, but I think they might be the perfect color. It is getting dark now though, and I kind of just changed my bed sheets the other day. So I think I'll change it in the morning. This comes with the duvet cover and two pillowcases, I believe. This is what it looks like. See how cute and crinkly that is? 
Oh, it just looks so cozy. And I also got another pair of pillowcases in the white, just because I feel like I like breaking up the colour. You guys can see I've got grey and then white. I love these pillowcases as well. My dad's got the duvet at the moment, but they are also textured. I just love that. Yeah, I just love having like a cozy room because it's like my sanctuary. Oh, that just looks so good, doesn't it? <laughs> they do have it in other colours as well. I just like the kind of neutral tones. I've got white on right now, but I feel like white looks a bit like clinical in my room especially because the bed is grey it's not like wooden or anything and my walls are white so I thought I'd go for like a more neutral natural tone and then add the pop of white with the um the extra pillowcases and I feel like I made the right decision this is really boring <laughs> oh god I'm gonna go edit what I filmed so far today because I don't know if this content's even wor even worthy but yeah <laughs> dad's been banging on about this wine that my granddad always used to drink and I had no idea what the name was, but he's just come back from Sainsbury's with it. And he's asked me to try it first. I feel like you're trying to poison me. I've barely eaten anything today, so I'm kind of nervous. Yeah. Today, my, my brand is here, and, and she was a bit better, but she was obviously she's she's just out of her, you know. But uh, when we were ready to leave, um, you know, I talked to her nicely, and I approached her and I said, "I give you a kiss," and I said, "Do you give me a kiss?" And she gave me a lovely little kiss on my cheek, Aww. and I was so 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 happy because. Obviously, that's uh, only today I'm going to see her now. But the fact she gave me a kiss, it, make, it just really makes me happy. Because I'm going to leave uh, France. And uh, obviously, with a um, you know, lovely kiss from mum. So it, that's so it, nice. it's really good for me. It's really, really good. Because she's not good at all. So the fact she gave me a kiss, it was wow. You know, I'm still a bit like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Colette, when I saw the jacket arrive, it was a jacket creuse. Et il y avait juste le fond où il y avait quelque chose. Oh. A little bit, but what I would say is, if this this team now is is this period. I just thought I'd say good night to you whilst I'm doing my skincare before I forget. I just wanted to show you guys this product that I've been using because I. I'm really enjoying it so far. Still to see whether my skin reacts to it or not, but I've, using, I've been using it for probably about four nights now and I really like it. It's the Oliviana London Rose Water and Chamomile Cream Cleanser. It literally comes out, it's almost like lotion, but it feels so nice on the skin. It doesn't dry my skin out and I've got really sensitive skin. If you see it, it kind of just rubs in like moisturizer. So I just take a bit of water. And it goes all like milky. Oh, it's so nice. It's just so gentle. I just started using this face halo thing and I really like it. Um, just get that with hot water and rub it off and match that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you were looking for a new cleanser, like a gentle one if you've got sensitive skin like me. Um, but yeah, I've had a really nice evening. Um, just had some dinner and then chilled. I've been watching some YouTube videos. Some people's first businesses are already up. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been making like fans and stuff for later on in the month, which should be pretty fun with friends and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna climb into bed now and watch Startup. I have been obsessed. I don't know if I'm late to the party, but I haven't seen many people talk about Startup on Netflix. It's so freaking good. If you haven't heard of it or if you haven't started watching it, just go watch it. I'm on the third season already. I've only been watching it for about a week, but I just can't stop. It's so good. Like, it's the type of good where, like, I don't even check my phone whilst I'm watching it because I can't miss a second. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Eight times down.